Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. If you're new, welcome back. If you're not, I'm G. And today I'm sharing my beauty favorites, things that I've just been loving, things that I've been needing, necessities, new discoveries, and just like recent purchases that I bought that pertain to beauty. So before we get started, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I make beauty, lifestyle, and luxury type content. So if that's your thing, Click the button, join the family, and don't forget to put your notifications on so that you get notified every time I make a video. So let's get started. So my first product is um, hair care, and it is from Purity Naturals. It is Biotin Hair Serum. And yes, I was sent this, but this is an honest review. This is my opinion. Um, they didn't tell me what to say. Like, I've honestly been using this for about four weeks and i love it like i love it love it so it is a very light serum and i love that it is not greasy it's not oily it is just really really good to use i use it in my crown area um i had some thinning in my edges you know us <laughs> us girls i was slicking down my baby hairs slicking them down brushing them and that really does kind of tear your edges out when you keep continuously brushing your edges so I had noticed some thinning in my, um, did I, did I say crown? This is not my crown. <laughs> I've noticed some um, thinning in my just edge area right here, my temples. Yes, this is called my temples. So I don't know if you can see it or not, but it has grown. Like it's grown back tremendously. And I said, I've been using this for four weeks. So you just take a, I'll demonstrate. You take a little pump just like that. And then I just put it on there. And I normally do it at night and I kind of just tie my hair down. But I just love that it just soaks in and it's not greasy. Like, that is my favorite part about it. Like, it's not really oily. It's a serum. So, it kind of just goes on and then it just dries. And I just really, really love that formula. And it really works. And even I use it on my son. He had ringworm in his scalp from school. So, he was getting like these little like this quarter size like patches in the back of his head where the ringworm was it was killing his hair follicles so he was getting like these little bald spots from the ringworm i put this on it and i'm not lying within a week the hair follicles started to grow back so i highly recommend this um hair serum i have a discount code i will have everything in the description link below this is just really really good if you have thinning in your crown if you have thinning on your edges you can put it throughout your whole scalp it just kind of it has biotin which is known for hair growth it has pea sprout extract which provides nourishment for your scalp and it also has pro vitamin b5 which is just an amazing vitamin for your hair. It adds body and shine to your, your overall hair. So like you can just, like I said, you can put this throughout your entire scalp. I have a sew-in right now with leave out, so I'm not really getting to my scalp. But if I had like just my hair out, I would definitely grease my scalp with this. Well, not grease it, but I would just kind of break it through my scalp and like let it penetrate and do its thing. But this is amazing. Check the link down below. Um, shout out to Purity Naturals again for sending me this. The next item I have is a body cake. I probably mentioned this a few times, but this is the Fenty Skin Body Butter in the newest one, the Vanilla. Let me get the exact name. This is the Butter Drop Vanilla Dream Whipped. <laughs> Vanilla Dream Whipped Body Cream from Fenty love this love this and a lot of people don't like it they say that the vanilla is too faint or it's just not enough fragrance this is just perfect i am a fan of all of them so the original i'm a fan of the uh what was that the cinnamon roll one that they came out with the only thing i didn't like about that last one is that the glitter was just too chunky for me it was just too much glitter and i did not like it the smell was amazing it really smelled like cinnamon rolls or like fresh baked cookies or something like that but it it's, the smell is there but i just the chunky glitter was just giving me too much i didn't like it um so this one i feel like it's perfect it's not as much glitter and it's finely milled the other one was more chunky this one is finely milled the fragrance i get the vanilla i smell it it's not faint but it's not overpowering either like it's just the right amount that you would want in a body butter like it's not going to make you like nauseous every time you smell yourself like it's not too much and i really enjoy that so i think some people don't like it because it's not a lot but i like it because it's not a lot so 
and I mean the moisturizing all of it is there like it's the same type of formula as the other ones I just like that the glitter is finely milled and I like the fragrance as well and it pairs well with what's next which is the Brazilian Crush by Sol uh, de Janeiro this body mist hair mist fragrance oh it pairs so well with the Fenty Vanilla to me it reminds me of Vanilla Woods by the Seven Virtues that's a perfume it smells very similar but um I just like this because it like it's a hairspray a hair perfume and um girls you know our wigs and our weaves whenever we go out somewhere at night we always bring back what we were um dibbling and dabbling in so like your hair smells or whatever you can just kind of spray it in and you get like a whiff of it when you walk by or like when you are like tying your hair up at night like it's just really really nice and it's like a mist spray so it's not like a perfume or anything but i can say that it does last long and like the next day i do smell it in my hair or if i like spray it on my body at night i do smell it in the morning so it is um very long lasting and i do highly recommend like i said this is the brazilian crush it's the 40 it has 40 on it um so the notes are black amber plum and vanilla woods i didn't even realize that prune nior ombre oh that's just the french <laughs> so it's just black amber plum and vanilla woods and it does smell like vanilla woods from seven virtues so yes this is the sol de janeiro perfume mist it says hair and body spray and it just smells really good and it's just really nice to kind of spritz in your hair to make your hair smell good we'll go into um like skincare body care i just discovered this the paula's choice is i have the small one because i was trying it out and i was like, i'm not buying that big thing if i don't like it but i'm probably gonna have to because this has changed my skin like changed my skin so crazy and i've only been using it for a week changed my skin this is the Polish choice exfoliate it's two percent bha liquid exfoliant with salicylic acid and it's for all skin types it unclogs and shrinks in large pores and smooths and even skin tone oh my god i think i found this on tiktok i was looking up like um chemical exfoliants not physical exfoliants and they recommended this and i was like okay i'm gonna just give it a try oh my god like i don't know it's just my skin just even like when i touch it it feels smooth and plump and i don't have large pores to begin with but like the pores that i do have gone pores are gone and i was getting like little like texture around my nose recently i, mean, I don't know why and it's not pimples like i don't know what it is just like little texture but this cleared it up and i've only been using this for a week and i don't use it every day it says you can use it daily i only use it every other day and it's amazing like i cannot recommend this enough and like i said it's all skin types i have dry skin so this is probably wonderful if you have oily skin i'm sure it'll kind of like diminish some of the oil um this is just so good so it says apply over face and neck with fingers or a cotton pad and do not rinse and then yeah it says for daytime follow up sunscreen so i've been loving it the way i've been putting it on is on a cotton pad and i've kind of just been like wiping it around my face and then i kind of let it soak in for like a minute or two and then i go in with my moisturizer and that's it love it freaking love it i don't even i have on a makeup obviously but my skin just feels so smooth and plump like i really really highly highly recommend it next i have the topicals ingrown tonic this thing like i think i was influenced on tiktok as well but like it's a roller ball and i use it on my lady parts um after i get out the shower when everything is dry and i just roll it on um it's supposed to like lighten it's supposed to uh minimize ingrown hairs and it it, it has salicylic acid glycolic acid niacinamide and zinc and I just really like this. Um, I've seen some people like put it under their arms as well, like after they shave their arms. I think you can put it on your face. I think it's for all over your body. Yeah, it's for all over your body, but um, I like it down there. Uh, the only thing that I don't like is that it doesn't dry down quick enough for me. Like when you put it on, it's kind of like, not wet, but it's like a, 
like a serum but it doesn't dry down quickly so like I have to like fan and like maybe that's TMI but I have to like kind of get it to dry down before I like put on my clothes and stuff that's the only like drawback but I like it I haven't been using it long enough to like say oh my god it's like the best thing but so far so good I'm gonna keep using it. I use it daily um and I haven't noticed any ingrown hair so I guess it's working but um yeah Something to try out. I like it. And it's not super expensive or anything. And Topicals is a black-owned brand. So check them out in general. Support the girls. And now we'll get into makeup that I've been uh, loving. So I will start with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Freeze. Um, this is another like TikTok fave. But I really like this because I have very thick, long brows. Like, I just have a lot of brow hair. Um, this is what it looks like. I've definitely used it. It's like just like a it looks like edge control to me. Um, it's that type of consistency. It's clear. And so what you do is you take a spoolie. The Anastasia sells like a spoolie with the spatula and I have that. Um, but I like to use these disposable ones because what I've noticed is that if you continue to use the same spoolie, it gets like the product builds up and then it gets flaky like like edge control like if you keep putting on too much edge edge control it gets white and flaky that's what this does so i like to use a new spoolie every time so i have it on right now and you just kind of like really dig in your brow and kind of like get it in there and work it through and just like push your brows up and it gives a really laminated effect um, I like it. I enjoy it. Like I said, I have long brown hairs anyway, so I'm always looking for a good gel to kind of like keep everything in place. And this has worked and I like it. So I've been using it for a couple months and I really enjoy it. It's one of my faves. Um, I haven't reached for like regular brow gel since I've had this. So I recommend it. And even if you don't have like thick long brows, I'm sure it'll still work. It'll give you like that effect. Brows will stand up and they'll look like fuller basically so that is the brow freaks i've been loving blush like blush everything liquid blush powder brush everything like i just really feel like blush has been just waking up my face and like bringing my makeup together and like even when i don't wear makeup i'll wear like a little liquid blush and like concealer and i just look awake i look lively like i just Blush has been everything right now. So I remember there was a time where I didn't even wear blush with my makeup. I don't know why, but now like I can't get enough. Like I feel like I overdo it. Um, so the brushes, the blushes that I've been loving is the Dior Backstage. And this is in Rosy Glow. It's like a pink. And it's like really like a, a very pink pink. But it looks really well on my complexion. I think it looks good on darker complexions. It looks good on everyone, in my opinion. I have not had an issue with it. It builds. It's visible. Like, you can see it. It's not faint. I love it. Like, I, I really love this. I like the the formula. It's powder, but it's not, like, chalky. It still kind of gives you, like, a glow. So, I really do enjoy this one. And then another one that I, I love that I have on right now. I don't know if you could see it or not. But it is the Sephora brand. And it is what color is this hot blush so it's like an orange and this one has some shimmer to it but it's really really pretty i really love this one and I highly recommend for um darker skin tones i think this is very beautiful and it's a very affordable so the dior of course is not that cheap but this one is definitely something that i recommend um they do have a orange in the dior i haven't tried that one because i already had this one and i didn't think it made sense but Highly recommend. I love blush. Um, it's just been really bringing my makeup together and like making me happy. I don't know. <laughs> making my face, bringing some color to my face. So I've been enjoying blush. Last but not least, um, I have been trying out this airbrush flawless setting spray from Charlotte Tilbury. And I think this is the travel size because I just wanted to try it. But I think that this has changed my makeup. Like, I put it on, it says you can put it on before for like a primer or you can put it on after and it says it sets your makeup for up to 16 hours, instantly lock in your look for makeup magic that looks just applied. I agree. When I spray this on after I do my face, my makeup looks so good for hours. Like it just, I don't even, it, it gives like a filtered look. Like is it called filter? 
no but it, it gives you like a filtered look on your face like it just smooths everything it locks everything in place and like i'm a dry girl so i don't really get oily but it just makes my makeup look like i just applied it hours later and i really like that so i highly recommend this airbrush flawless setting spray party all night stay all day this is really good and it's hydrating it's not as drying as like the urban decay all nighter i tried that before it's just too much for my skin it broke me out it might have been the alcohol that's in it like i don't know that one just didn't work for me but this one i feel like it's less harsh and it really does do the trick it really holds and locks everything in place and it doesn't make me feel dry it's still kind of like dewy so i don't know what's in this thing miss tilbury but this is really good and i want to try some more of her stuff i've been dibbling and dabbling and i've heard great things about like her uh foundation i've heard like the night cream the eye cream like there's a lot of stuff that i want to try so uh be on the lookout maybe i'll do like a charlotte tilbury video soon but really enjoy this setting spray that's all i have for my beauty favorites thank you for tuning in let me know if you have any of these products in the comments below or if there's something that you think i should try um let me know and thanks again for watching and i'll see you in the next video